Welcome to Carbon City Zero World Edition, a game that lets you become mayor of your own city and work with other players to reach zero carbon emissions. In this video, we'll be walking you through how to set up the game and how to play it. We'll include all the times for each section in the description below, so feel free to watch the whole thing or skip to the sections that are most relevant to you. And if you have any more questions, please contact us at hello at wearepossible.org. All right, let's get started. The board represents your emissions as a city and is where you track both your current carbon level and the number of turns that you have left in the game. Place a token at 50 on the carbon tracker. And if this ever gets to zero, you win the game. And then you also need to place a token at the 10 on the round counter. And if this ever gets to zero, you lose the game. The draw deck is the pile of cards from which players will take cards during their turn. Each player starts with nine cards in this deck, five budget, two stock exchange, one poor housing stock, and one poor transport. If there are any remaining cards, for example, if you're only playing a two player or a three player game, then return the remaining cards, which are all colored pink, to the box. You won't be using them in this game. Once players have created their draw decks, they should shuffle them and place them face down in front of them. Each player will have their own recycle pile. This is where they'll place their cards when they have used them in a turn. At the start of the game, there won't be any cards in this space as you've not played any cards yet. Each player has their own draw deck and their own recycle pile. Now that each player has their draw deck sorted, it's time to create the shared marketplace. This should be laid out where all players can see it along with the board. The first thing to do is to select which set of global cards you're going to use. Global cards represent the decisions and actions of the world at large. There are two sets of six global cards in the game, collaborative, solo and competitive. Only one set will be used each game. In this video, we're going to play a collaborative game in which all players work together so we'll select the six collaborative solo cards, which have this symbol here. Take the six competitive cards, which have this symbol here, and put them back in the box. You won't be using them in this game. The rest of the cards make up the market deck. These are the cards that will be available for purchasing. Shuffle your six global cards into the remaining cards and then place this deck face down. Then draw five cards and place them face up. These five cards make up the marketplace. If you draw a snag card, the yellow cards with this symbol, then put them face up next to the market deck in the discard pile. Then draw another card until the marketplace has five cards. If you draw another snag card, then repeat this step. The discard pile is where players discard cards when they are told to do so. They always go in this pile face up. If during the setting up of the marketplace you happen to draw a global card, then put it face up and into play above the marketplace so that everyone can see it. Players will be able to use its rules from the very start of the game, then draw another card until the marketplace has five cards. If you draw another global card, then put it into play face up and repeat this step. With everything set up, the next thing to do is for each player to draw five cards from their personal draw deck. And now you're ready to play. The game is played in successive rounds with each player taking a turn playing in clockwise order. Each player's turn has three phases in this order. One, action. Two, recycle. Three, draw. We'll play through a turn now. In this example, we're a few turns into the game. So you begin the action phase by playing all the cards in your hand in front of you. Normally, that'll be five cards, placing them face up on the table so that everyone can see them. With the cards on the table, you may now activate any special rules on the cards in any order you choose. You can choose not to activate them if you'd like to. But remember, they can only be activated once per card. On this turn, I've got a few special rules to use. I'll begin with car share, which allows me to draw a card from my draw deck. I've drawn the biogas plant card. The good news is that when you draw a card in this way, you can use its special abilities immediately. Biogas plant allows me to discard a card played this turn and I'll use it to discard local opposition, which I place onto the discard pile. The last special rule I have is on the stock exchange card. 
This card allows me to discard a card from the marketplace and replace it. I don't think anyone will want to buy the small factory, so I use this ability to place that card in the discard pile. I then draw another card from the market deck and put it in the empty slot so that the marketplace has five cards. Once you've finished using your special rules, it's time to calculate your income. You do this by adding all the income symbols in the bottom left of your cards in play. In this example, I've got an income of four. With income calculated, it's time to spend your money. With your income, you can purchase cards from the marketplace one at a time. The cost of each card is indicated by the cost symbol. I decide to buy the hydropower card, which has a cost of three. When you buy a card, you place it face up on your recycle pile. You won't get to use it in this turn. And then replenish the marketplace by drawing another card from the market deck. In this instance, I've drawn a snag card. That's bad news. Whenever this happens, there's no option but to put it in your recycle pile. Some of these cards have negative effects. This one, funding cuts, means that I'll have one less income to spend when I play it. Others don't have any special effects, but they'll quickly clog up your deck, so you'll want to find ways to discard them if you can. As I drew a snag card, the marketplace still isn't full, so I draw again. This time I'm luckier. I've drawn the train not playing card, which I put in the marketplace. I've not got enough income left to buy that card, so it will stay there for now. With just one income left, there are no cards that I can afford in the marketplace, and that income is lost. Anything you don't spend is gone. If ever the market deck runs out, shuffle the discard pile to create a new market deck. Finally, at the end of the action phase, I need to adjust the carbon level. You do this by adding up the carbon symbols on your cards in play. So, I've got minus two, minus two, and plus one for a total of minus three. The lower the better. And then I check for any linking abilities. These come into play when you have two cards of the same sector or color that show the link symbol. This turn, I've got two domestic green cards that show link abilities. They both decrease carbon by one, so I'm able to activate these two linking abilities, thereby bringing my carbon total down another two. So it's not a bad turn. The carbon goes down by five, which I show by moving the carbon tracker that many spaces down the tracker. On some turns, carbon can go up, so watch out. To end my turn, I place all the cards I've played this turn face up on my recycle pile and draw five new cards from my draw deck. In this case, there aren't enough cards in the draw deck, so I draw as many as I can, then shuffle my recycle pile to make a new draw deck and keep drawing until I have five cards in my hand. It's this way that you get to have cards you've purchased into your hand. And that's the end of my turn. The next player goes next. Once everyone has taken a turn, the round is over, and we move the round counter one space down the track. The round counter represents time running out, so work together against the clock. The game ends when you either lose, when the round counter moves onto the time's up space, or you win. When the carbon level reaches zero, your city has reached zero emissions and you've won the game. Thanks for watching and enjoy the game.